Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Osorio main battle tank was developed by Ingesa in the mid-1980s, catering to both the Brazilian army and potential international buyers. Despite minimal government backing, Ingesa invested over US $100 million from its earnings into the project. Named after Manuel Luis Osorio, founder of the Brazilian Army's cavalry branch, two prototypes were constructed, with the first completed in 1985 and the second in 1986. While the design proved successful, insufficient funding prevented its adoption by the Brazilian Army, which initially sought 300 new main battle tanks. Furthermore, no export orders materialized, leading to the abandonment of the project and Ingesa's bankruptcy. Presently, the Brazilian Army relies on aging M60 and Leopard 1 main battle tanks. The Osorio tank was specifically tailored for Brazil's limited infrastructure, with a combat weight of 43 tons to ensure compatibility with local road bridges, overpasses, tunnels, and transporters. Its composite armor, akin to the British Chobham design, comprised steel, aluminum, carbon fibers, and ceramics, offering robust protection against anti-tank projectiles. Equipped with automatic fire suppression and NVC protection systems, the tank's armor, though lighter than Western counterparts, was deemed inferior. The EET-1 Osorio for the Brazilian Army featured a British Ordnance L7A3 105mm rifled gun with 45 rounds of ammunition, while the EET-2 for export boasted a French Jot G1 120mm smoothbore gun with 38 rounds. Both guns were fully stabilized and manually loaded, offering high hit probabilities against moving targets at extended ranges. Secondary armaments included 7.62mm and 12.7mm machine guns, with a crew of four comprising commander, gunner, loader, and driver. Powered by a Dutch MWM TBD 234 diesel engine generating 1,040 horsepower and coupled with a German ZF LSG 300 automatic transmission. The Osorio boasted quick engine and transmission replacement capabilities. Its British Dunlop hydropneumatic suspension system, akin to that of the Challenger series, and Leopard 2 tracks ensured reliable mobility. Trialed in Saudi Arabia in 1988, the Osorio EET-2 won a tank competition in 1989, securing a potential contract worth $7.2 billion for 340 units. However, this deal fell through, and subsequent market saturation with surplus MBTs, coupled with Ingesa's financial woes and Saudi Arabia's procurement of the M1 Abrams, spelled the demise of the Osorio project by the mid-1990s. Various proposed variants, including those featuring a Russian 125mm smoothbore gun, self-propelled howitzer, anti-aircraft gun, armored vehicle launched bridge, and engineering vehicle, never materialized due to Ingesa's closure and external factors. That's all for now. See you later.